Hello, and welcome to the Joy Corner. I'm Carol Deshane, and every week I bring you an I am affirmation. This week, the affirmation is, I take the time to be kind. It does take time. Sometimes you are rushing to get somewhere, and you have that opportunity where you see someone drop something, and you want to run over and help them. I know I've done some flea markets, and someone's trying to get their tent up, and they're by themselves, and I'll see four people rush from all different directions to help somebody get it up. And it's like, wow, this is great. These people care. They're, they're these giving people, especially craft fair people. They are there for you when you need it. And they're always there. You drop something. There's people, five people helping you pick things up. Or you can't carry things in. And as long as somebody has an arm, they go, oh, do you need help? And they're there for you. So it does take a few moments sometimes to be kind. But unless you're in a huge rush, Allow yourself to think about what it would feel like for you if you needed some help and someone would be kind for you, to you, or to a loved one when they need it, and how much you would appreciate it. So every once in a while at least, take some time, be kind, help someone, or say something really nice to somebody. Somebody looks down and they look fabulous. Tell them how wonderful they look that day. Make their day better. It doesn't take much sometimes to make, to turn someone's whole day around. So take that time to be kind. The I am affirmation. I always say, only need to say it three to five times, once a day, twice, extra credit. Morning, maybe evening, whichever works best for your schedule. But always, always feel it deep inside of yourself, like it's happening, it's real. I take the time to be kind, not tomorrow. I take it right now, when need be, when I want to. I don't rush by somebody. I do it now. I take the time to be kind. Maybe you need to tweak this one because maybe instead of I take the time, you say I am kind because maybe you're not sure you are. Maybe you rush by all the time and you're going, I don't think I'm really that kind. I don't seem to take the time to do anything for people. So whatever you need to do to make it powerful for you, change the words around, make them for you, but make them right now in the present tense. Make them powerful for you. And make sure you use that personal pronoun. I, me, my, something in there that makes it about you. It's okay this time. Make it about you. You want to change your subconscious. So you have this is just one tool you can use. So let's say it three times together. Take a breath and say, I take the time to be kind. Then take another breath and feel that happening for you right now. I take the time to be kind. Then breathe it in. Let that be your truth. And a third time, I take the time to be kind. Does that feel really good to you? Does it give you maybe shivers? Does it make it feel like this is who you are and what you want? This is who I want to be. I want to be this caring individual. You are this caring individual. You just need to let it happen. Let it out. Let it act out in your reality outside of inside your head so that other people, not so much other people know it, but so that you can be that kindness in action that some people call it God in action, where you're, you're taking that step and you're doing, maybe you say what Jesus would do, what Buddha would do, whatever it is to you that makes it seem like a kind thing to do. Try that for a day or two. See how you do, even an hour. If you're out and about with people and you're at, maybe you're out a shopping place that's opened and you're out and you're going, okay, if I see somebody in need or if I want to say something nice to somebody who, do you need help? You can ask them, you know, if they drop something, you can help them pick it up. You can do whatever it is. And sometimes I've gotten people before when I've asked and I help, they go, you know, I'm looking for a gift. I have no idea what. And then I can help them. Maybe, maybe not. It depends on who they're looking for. But lots of times, I'll just take those moments and go, I'm not in a hurry. Do you need help? Or 
wow, you look really great today. I love that shirt. And I'll get a, oh, well, thank you. And it's like the, the whole day seems to brighten just a little bit. It doesn't take much, not even much energy and not much time. But it, you have to be aware that you're willing to do that. So if you are or if you want to be and you don't feel like you're there yet, this is one of those subconscious tools that you can use to help you make this more your reality. This I am affirmation. I take the time to be kind. If you like what you hear, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell notification if you'd like to know the next time that I post a video. I'm Carol DeShane. You can learn more about me at my website at connecttojoy.com. That's connect, the number two, joy.com. There you'll find out about life and business coaching, which I'm certified in, about intuitive readings, which actually those I don't think are on the website, but you'll learn more about me. And also you'll find out about Marconics, which is a multidimensional ascension energy tool and which really raises your vibration and makes you be more light-filled, more joyful, more of who you probably want to be. If you're interested in any of those things or you want to work with me, by all means, reach out. I'd love to hear from you. Until next week, remember that you are already enough to have this joyful, limitless life that you desire.